everyone, it's Miss Judge and Fred, and we're back to do some more writing based on the book, The Day with the Crayon. First, make sure you've got everything you need to complete today's lesson. So you're going to need a whiteboard and pen, you'll need somewhere to write, so either your green book or a piece of paper, and you will need a nice sharp pencil. So hopefully you're sorted now, you've got everything you need and you're back. I have Fred here to help me. Today we are looking at the letter O, which you might look at and you might say, oh, the letter is called O. So today we're going to practice writing the letter O and um, lots of children have difficulty with this letter, so just try your best. It's important to start from the line as if you were doing a C and go around and up and join and then a hook. So you're going to start on the line and work as if you're going to draw a C and then go back and join and then go back and hook like this. The reason we do it like this is because it's really going to help with our joined writing later on. So have a go at that now. I know it's a little bit tricky, so just try your best. I'm in the mood for a bit of a challenge today. So instead of doing words that begin with O, I'm actually going to think of sounds that have the letter O in them. So for example, I could write the word, let me do this in um, the black pen. I could write the word book, because I know the sound O oh, has got an O, two O's, or I could write the word show because I know the sound O oh, has got an O in it or I could even write the word phone because I know that O oh, phone home has got an O in it as well. Okay so it's a challenge for you today you need to think about the sounds that have got the letter O in them. Pause the video now and have a go at writing a couple of words on your whiteboard. So hopefully you're back now and you've practiced the letter O and you've practiced some words that have the letter O in them and you are ready for our word of the day. I feel we've had this word a lot this year in our spelling list. So Fred knows this one really well and he says the word is were. Fantastic. There were 12 boys and 15 girls in the class were. Can you practice saying it with me? Were. 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 Okay, time to write the word. Were. Were. One more time. Now it's time for you to write the word were on your whiteboard and of course don't forget to write a sentence using the word. Time for us to look at our book of the day, The Day the Crayons Quit. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. The first letter was from the red crayon. We read this one yesterday. The next letter is from the purple crayon. So let's see what the, the purple crayon has to say. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favourite crayon for grapes, dragons and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Today we're going to be pretending to be the Purple Crayon. We're going to write as the Purple Crayon. So first of all, it's really important that we understand how he's feeling. 
So I'm going to show you the page again and ask you to write on your whiteboard a word that tells us how he's feeling. So an adjective to describe his feelings. Now, as well as listening to me read, I'd like you to pay really close attention to the picture of the purple crayon. His hand's on his hip, the other hand's in the air pointing, and he's got a furrowed brow like this. So I wonder what that tells us about his emotion. So before I read, I just thought I'd point out some of the clues that I use when I'm doing the voices for my reading. So for example here, I look at the purple crayon, and I kind of copy his facial expression, his body language when I'm reading. I'm then also scanning to have a look to see if I can see any um, indicators in the text. So for example, I can see some capital letters here. Anything that's in capital letters, I am going to say in um, a cross voice. Off we go. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard tats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside the lines. If you don't start colouring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. So you can see that I've taken the picture of the Purple Crayon. And I've written four words around the purple crayon and they are adjectives to describe how purple crayon is feeling. So I looked at the picture, I thought back to the text and I matched his emotion with a word. So I would like you to pause the video and write down one word to describe how purple crayon is feeling right now. Are you back? Great. So hopefully you've got something similar to me. So I've written the words cross, annoyed, stressed, irritated, around the purple crayon. Okay, so before we start writing today, I want you to pretend to be the purple crayon. You're going to need a Duncan, so you need to pick a partner. So you can pick somebody at home. I don't have anyone here, so I am going to pick Fred. You could have um, somebody like Fred or you could pick your pencil to be your partner. Are you ready Fred? Let's go. Duncan, you need to listen to me. You have to start colouring in the lines. I'm really getting quite cross and annoyed about it. I understand that I'm your favourite colour but honestly if you don't start being neater I am going to completely lose it and I will be extremely irritated. Can you do that, do that Duncan? Thank you. Okay, now finally it's time to write. I'm going to plan my sentence first. I am very cross. I am very cross. So I've got four words. So I'm putting four in the corner just so I remember. I'm going to start with a capital letter. I, finger space, a, m, an, I, am, e, er, very, we've got that why making the e sound at the end of the word i am very cross and then i'm going to give myself a full stop and check my sentence i am very cross great my next sentence is going to be i am going to lose it i am going to lose it i that's six I am going to lose it. Full stop. In today's task, I'd love if you could put 
pretend to be the purple crayon and you could write four sentences as the purple crayon. So think back to the words that you've chosen and of course you can use the book. So if you need to go back and watch it again, please do that. Okay, great job. As always, we'd just love to see your work. So please make sure that you take a picture and upload it to Cecil. See you soon, year one. Goodbye.